Within this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the latest Sea of Thieves dev stream. Stay tuned. The host this week was John McFarlane, Head of Video and Creator Engagement, joined by Joe Nate, Executive Producer. The guest this week was Jake underscore the Viking, a streamer on Twitch and a YouTube content creator. A total of nine Obsidian gift sets were given away and the theme of this stream was to just run amok. The water in game was based on Xbox Rivals and then lots of customization was added to it. Joe had a little trouble explaining to it but also added that the sky and clouds are 3D objects as well as a weather system has been added to game, it is not just a random skybox. Joe was asked from a producer's point of view what was most difficult when it came to producing Sea of Thieves. Joe answered the initial blank slate when he was given direction from Craig Dunn to create a pirate game. They were asked about an ice section being added to the map, to which Joe said it's not on the current roadmap, however it is a good idea. Will they be re-releasing the ferryman set? John said that it's difficult to release items that are tied to a promotion as the items are part of the contract so it's just a matter of waiting until that contract time period has finished if there is one and then finding out a new way to re-release that set in future streams they will be giving out loot via a chat bot to random people to allow people of all abilities to take part in the code not necessarily those who have the fastest fingers first when the game first came out, they enjoyed watching people on stream discover how the Chest of Sorrows worked, in particular when they had one on board their ship and then the crew would jump off and come back later finding that their ship had sunk and the chest was the only thing left. This week's stream started 28 minutes late as John himself was in charge and was giving us a new angle of his apartment. John's mother was also in the chat. They head towards a reaper chest that despawns before they get to it and decided to sail after a brig for the majority of the stream with intermittent PVP. Rare sink and then they attempt to catch the brig before they turn in the reaper's chest that the rare crew had found, however, were too slow. They find another brig that turns out to be a couple of new players. Joe asks to leave them alone, however, Jake kills them and then removes the markers that they had on their map, replacing them with new ones. They find a second reaper chest and then turn that in uncontested. In total, while having the Reaper's Emissary flag up, one brig was sunk, 16 pirates were killed, Rare sunk once, John sunk a skelly sloop solo, try saying that fast, and turned in one Reaper's chest. While it doesn't sound like that much happened throughout the stream as they were pretty much just chasing after this one particular brig for the bulk of it, it was still really entertaining with those random bits of PvP that occurred within. The chase itself was really good, they went through the fog and Amada, it was really, it was just a lot of fun watching the devs get involved in the game as it's meant to be and Jake the Viking was really entertaining as well. So if you do have some time to spare I do recommend watching it. If you want to watch all the fun and interesting bits that happened throughout the stream remember to check out my channel because I do also do a highlights video that involves chopping up the dev stream into a smaller easier to watch version for you. However that's all for this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Aussie accent. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Till next time. If you're interested in watching a highlights video, uh...